and you meet Stella. Yeah, on I the did. way to mm -hmm. I, Johnson. When I, when I got on uh, on this uh, railroad car that was attached to a regular train, and I, uh, that was all the prisoners that came from uh, from mostly the Hotel Excelsior, which they used uh, in Nice, which they used as a prison. And uh, so I get in this compartment, and uh, I met this uh, young girl there, a teenage girl uh, that uh, was traveling with. Uh, her parents. They were, the parents were arrested and so she was in it too. And I met her and then she, by coincidence, she had had scarlet fever too, so we worked uh, more or less together. And actually, when the epidemic was over, we both got shipped to, <laughs> to Germany. You were both on... We were on the same train going to Auschwitz. You know. Not in the same car, because being single, they had all the bachelors in one car and families in other cars. So at this point, you're a teenager as well? Are you, how old are you at, at, at this at point? That at that time, I was 18. 18? Yeah. When you meet Stella? When I met Stella, I was 18, yeah. Can you tell us about her? And well, she had a little freckles, she had kind of reddish hair, reddish blonde, and, um, and when she got real excited, I remember she had a little pug nose, she got wrinkles on top of her nose when she... <laughs> that was very sexy for me at the time. <laughs> <laughs> but she had been a student, and naturally she was only around 16 because we were pretty close together uh, working and uh, had the chances to, to hide in some spots and so on, and uh, um, it gave us something to do. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. yeah, no, I liked it. Uh, puppy love, I guess. Did you see Stella after you arrived in Auschwitz? No, I uh, never uh, saw her in Auschwitz. Uh, it was dark. Uh, they had uh, the lights on uh, on the selection, the 240 on one side, and 260 uh, on one side, and the and the other one that were selected for the gas chamber over there. So when they were uh, elderly people or women, uh, I understand that uh, before they put them in the gas chamber, they uh, they did select a few women out of those groups that they kept. But uh, I didn't know at the time uh, what was happening. Well, nobody knew. Otherwise, they would have run in all directions, I'm sure. Some might even had had a chance to escape, because when you have 1,200 people and maybe 50 guards, even a few dogs, they have Tommy guns, you know. But uh, a few could have gotten away if they had known you're going to be gassed in 10 minutes and they would run in all directions. Some could, at night, they could have gotten away. Let's go back to Stella and what she meant to you while you were in the camps. Well, just, just hoping that I would see her again and so on gave me a, like a life vest. It gave me a, a reason uh, to survive, one of the reasons, although uh, I didn't expect that, uh, to have survived the first day in Auschwitz. I didn't know how many women they separated uh, after we had been separated. Because I knew that something was fishy when they said, uh, all the men on the right will have to walk to the camp and all the women and all the old, old people would be uh, 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 going transported to the camp in trucks. Well, it never happened. They walked in the gas chamber and we got on the trucks. It, it was, but when they said all the doctors, depending of age, move over to our line, I thought, if the, all doctors have to walk, why? But that, that doesn't make sense. Uh, it rang a bell to me because there was no logic in it and they needed doctors, that's why they put them over to, to our side, because they, they didn't want to, after they had got a degree and, and gone, gone so, so many years in the hospital, they didn't want to waste them, because 
even some of those I'm sure they sent to regular army hospitals because uh, after all they had a lot of casualties. But do you feel that her memory and the time that you spent with her in Drancy, you think that helped you? The hope of seeing her again or oh, finding oh, her oh, again? Oh, there's no question about it. I'm sure I was in love with her at the time, a puppy love also. Um, we helped each other and uh, I was her first. Um, not that I was that impressed by it, but, uh, but uh, no, she was a cute girl. She was pretty. She had a, a nice um, outlook uh, in life somehow still. And uh, she acted much more grown up with me with, when she talked to the parents. I could see she was still a baby. Different voice tone and so on. With you, she acted mature and... Oh, well, yeah, something I brought out, something else out of, on her. What was the last thing that she said to you? Well, uh, I, I, wherever we go, I'll see you, something like that. Um, I was the last time we, we spoke when I took her down in the courtyard to join her parents and I joined the rest of the bachelors. <laughs> <laughs>